Welcome back to another video guys, I hope you're all doing well. As you can probably tell from the title, we're going to be looking at the top 10 goals from the RLCS this weekend. Some of you may be wondering why I'm not doing my usual highlights, and if you want more information on that, please check the description. So I'm going to go through the top 10 goals from NA and EU in order, let me know your opinion in the comments. And at the end, I'm going to do a quick summary of the weekend just to catch you guys up on what's happened. So without further ado, let's get on to number 10. In 10, we have Garrett G reading Cloud9's fake kickoff and flicking it over Torment. He's absolutely saying, oh, Garrett G with the fake kickoff, the flick over the top, make him feel bad, put him in the ground. Oh my goodness. They went for the fake. Cloud9 goes for the fake here, and he's like, that's cool. Ate him alive. That's a nice idea you got there. Here's a free goal for me. Holy crap. Coming in at number nine, we have Satyu taking credit for the goal. Typical is the reason it goes in, faking out two of the splice defenders. Comes down Sathew in, a shot towards the middle, Sipical's up to try and create a challenge and fakes out both the defenders, in it goes and Space Station's got the lead. It's definitely an error of discipline on Splice part. Yes, Sathew, beautiful pass into the midfield, it will force the options out of the defenders. The problem is Jay Wiz can't stop himself on the wall. In eight, we have a Renault Vitality pinch with K-Duck taking credit for the goal. To respond, and we've seen Tigre in the past, we know what he can do, we know oh, what a lot can do. pinch! The pinch from Vitality! Ooh. We talked about the explosiveness. Look at this explosive play. Oh my god, that is... You know that's calculated as well because you saw both of them crashing the ball. In seventh place, we have Rogue with a clean passing play from AJ to Wonder. AJ, this could be it, actually. AJ, a lot of twists. Wonder, what? Ooh. Wonder! Ho ho ho! Coming up for this, AJ just... The clear off the ceiling, Wonder just waiting for it, he gets the touch, has Garrett G completely beat on the play, straight down into the net. In sixth place, we have Devo with a nutty double touch against PSG Esports. Shaw set. Probably looking for a pass to Fair on the play, just a little too much juice! How about Devo for juice? One to nothing for Barcelona! Devo off the back! That's something we've seen him do so many times. The perfect read. In fifth place, we have another double touch. This time from Fairy Peak. Just beating Devos, in my opinion. Feel for Mouse. They haven't played poorly. Vitality struggled in game one, but ever since, they have just found their stride. Fairy going for the double tap. And look at that. Hitting his shot over and over. Fairy has been out wow. of this world. At this point, it is just a display of, of skill. Coming in at fourth position, we have another goal from Renault Vitality. This time, K'd up with a clean flip reset. Very up the sideline now. T Gray back down. K'd up, pops it to himself. Flip reset, going oh. for it, and oh my, K'd up! He can't be stopped with the flip reset. Just completely denying the enemy team of any chance with this unreal goal. Upper 90s flip reset. Getting into our top three now, and we have yet another goal from Ren of Vitality. The reason I have this so high is due to Kadop's awareness to pass rather than to shoot. Kadop. Now Ferry. Ferry taking his time. Pops to himself. Pass over to Kadop. Kadop back to Scrub. Scrub is taking the shot. No one home. And the one, two, three passing play from Vitality. This is unreal. Just at Fairy Peak, you see him in the back of the net getting two bumps there. Just having a go at a lot. In second place, we have Speed with an absolutely insane flick. With some time, going for a dribble here. One. Air dribble, the flick, Ooh. and he finds the upper 90. An incredible shot. Spectacular from Speed. Flipping around and also using his flip still. He just jumped once and got the upper 90. The number one spot goes to Squishy for this insane angle and read on a double touch. Right, right back. Cloud9 though, they answer with some pressure. Just can't come away with anything yet. But this time they're finding each other in the middle of the field. Oh! oh Squishy Muffins, you are ridiculous! That might be the shot of the season for Squishy Muffins. An impossible angle <laughs> to keep their top two hopes alive. Squishy is nuts. So here is this week's results. There's nothing really that stands out too much. Cloud9 losing both to NLG and G2. 
This means that they aren't actually guaranteed a place at LAN, we'll take a look at the regional bracket in a second. As you can see, NRG had an amazing season with a 7-0 record, and G2 closed second with a 6-1 record, that loss being to NRG. Ghost actually managed to pull it back too after having a terrible start to the season. They finished with 3 wins and 4 losses, which is the same as Space Station Gaming, meaning they both have a chance at playing at LAN. In 7th and 8th we have Evil Geniuses and Splice, so they will have to play in the promotion tournament to see if they will get relegated or remain in RLCS. So this is the bracket, I will quickly break it down for you. The winner out of Cloud9 and Space Station Gaming will play G2's Esports in the semi-final and they will be guaranteed a place at LAN. The loser of that game will have another chance against the winner of Ghost Gaming vs Rogue. And the winner of that match 3 will play against NRG in the semi-final, where they are guaranteed a place at LAN. It's pretty self-explanatory after this, the teams are basically fighting for a better seed and more money. Personally, I'm going to give it to NRG, they just looked too good this season. Let me know what you think in the comments. These are the results for this week's EU League play. The only result I can say I'm surprised by is the Bricks beating TSM. However, this won't be enough to save them as they still finish in the bottom two. So here are the end of season standings for EU. Renault Vitality finishing on top with a 6-1 record, that loss being to Triple Trouble. And in second place we have Barcelona, meaning they are guaranteed a place at LAN. I'm actually pretty surprised that PSG and Triple Trouble both finished higher than Dignitas and TSM. And then at the bottom we have The Bricks and Mouseboards, they will both have to play in the promotion tournament to try and save their place in RLCS. So here is the bracket for the EU Regional Championship. It's the same format as the NA one, but I'll quickly break it down. The winner of PSG vs Triple Trouble will go into the semi-final one and be guaranteed a place at LAN. The loser will have another chance against the winner of Dignitas vs TSM. And then the winner of this match will be guaranteed a place at LAN and go into semi-final two vs Reno Vitality. And then again, all teams playing in the semi-finals are guaranteed a place at LAN and are fighting for more money and a better seed. So that is the end of league play this season. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'm now going to leave you with a few funny moments and goals that didn't make it to the top 10. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Showing their resilience as the shot blocked off the post. Standing was Yukio. It looked like he might have gotten it. Oh, they're going to score. Speed off the return. The dribble, flicking it up to Meta. Meta shot towards the backboard. And the oh, oh my. Good to get back to his own touch. How do they respond? Kimmich racing towards it, and they own goal, G2. In this series, very important for both teams, and a whip there from Sathieu. Up by Garrett G, 500 catches this. He's by AJ. Garrett rolls. The change up, Justin. Walker, Justin forces, fire burner. Wow. Three, oh NRG, my goodness. The bullies, tie game. They just threw bodies at the ball to try and just break down Rogue and AJ. I don't care how hard you're gonna try.